Hi everyone. One of the questions I get asked the most is, can I reuse my potting mix? And the answer is absolutely yes. Soil is one of the biggest investments you make in gardening. And so today I'm going to show you a no hassle way to refresh your potting mix so you don't have to throw it away, make good use of your resources, saving you time and saving you money. So here I have my little shorty raised bed that is definitely in need of a refresh. We've had a lot of hot weather this week. These plants are pretty much toast. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove the old plants. Now I'm just going to clip a lot of the plants right at soil level, but there are a couple in here that I'm going to save and transplant to another container. But I'm making some room for some fall weather crops, which we'll be planting on another video. So you can see this cucumber plant is definitely toast. I'm going to pull it out. And in containers, if you have large rooted plants, you can pull the roots out just to make room for new plants. But if you have smaller roots, you can probably just leave them in and let the soil and let the um, organic matter decompose in the soil. Now, if your old plants have powdery mildew or diseases or they're bug infested, don't throw them in the compost, just throw them in the green bin and they'll be hauled away with the trash. Uh, this cucumber is like pretty much toast as you can see. I'm just gonna put it here in my can, I've actually got two bins, one that's going to be for composting and one that's going to be uh, for the green trash bin. These old zinnias are coming out. This tomato plant I'm actually going to dig up and put in a container in a little shorty right next to us here because like I said I want to plant some cool fall weather vegetables in here. So I want to start completely fresh. I've already got a hole dug in the little shorty next door. I'm just going to pop it in. This one definitely needs a cage. Good to go. Now these zinnias here, they've got quite a bit of powdery mildew on them. So this is a perfect example. I hate pulling them out when they're still blooming, but I don't want powdery mildew all over my new vegetables. So we'll cut these out and perfect example of what I don't want to compost. Now the pepper plant, I'm actually gonna prune way back and first harvest the peppers. Always fun to have a little treat here in the garden. And once peppers kind of reach the end of their production, you can prune them way back and then overwinter them. I'll probably move these into another container. So I just left a little Y in the stem of the pepper here. And we'll dig it up and I'll set this aside to plant in another spot. Now what I'm gonna do is just move my straw mulch aside here. I'm just gonna just set it right behind the container to make room for our soil refresh. Got my mulch pulled back. Now what I'm gonna do is just lift out the drip here to make room for my new soil. It'll be a whole lot easier with the drip moved out of the way. Gonna remove the trellis, so that'll make it a whole lot easier as well. Give me a little space to work with here. There we go, scooch the drip out of the way and we're ready for the refresh. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to refresh my soil from planting to planting? Well, I've been growing in this container all season long and especially in containers, the soil kind of gets depleted and it needs a fresh new batch of nutrients. So my new plants will be super productive. Now, what a lot of people would do at this point is dump out their soil on a big tarp or in a wheelbarrow and start the whole refresh process. But this is a hassle-free way to do it. So all I'm gonna do instead of dumping it all out is just to top it off. And I'm gonna add some fresh new ingredients. The first one is compost. I love making compost. This one I actually just pulled out of my compost pile. It smells nice and earthy, nice and black. It just looks nice and uh, beautiful. Whoops, get this out of there. Um, but compost is going to add a lot of good nutrients to the soil, add good aeration to the soil. So I'm just going to top off my little shorty here with a couple inches of fresh compost. Makes it super easy, no dumping out of my whole entire container. Just throw in my compost and mix it in. Well, so I'm dumping out my compost, I'm seeing lots of worms in here, which is a really good sign. And my compost isn't quite broken down. So there's plenty of organic matter for the worms to eat, which is all that much better, especially for containers. So first ingredient to add to your refresh is compost. If you don't have access to your own compost or bagged compost, you can also top it off with a good organic bag potting mix. The next step in our no hassle potting mix refresh is to add in some worm castings. Now I love using worm castings anytime I plant something new or just to revitalize the soil. And one reason why it's super important to add worm castings to your containers 
is because of the soil life. They have little worm eggs in them. They have lots of good beneficial bacteria and microbes, which really help the soil life in containers. I'm gonna add just a few more worm castings. So my little shorty is just a little bit fuller. And these are the Vermistera worm castings, a natural organic soil amendment. You can grab them over at vermistera.com. Now the great thing too I love about worm castings is the nutrients are immediately available to the plant as well as being released over a long period of time so it feeds the plants for several months. And they're super gentle so they won't burn your plants. So I added maybe four cups of worm castings to this little shorty. You don't have to be exact on the measurements. Kind of the goal is to basically get this container kind of topped off. So just add it as far as you can up to the top, however much compost and worm castings you have. So you can see my container is quite a bit fuller now. Next step in the no hassle soil refresh is to add a balanced organic granular or a pelleted fertilizer. Now I've got my fertilizer here in an old coffee can. It's kind of a good way to store it. And I don't really recommend any particular brand. You just want to find something that has a balanced amount of N, P, and K. So when you purchase fertilizer at the garden center, you'll see three numbers on the package. The first one refers to the nitrogen, which helps with the green leafy growth of the plants. The second one refers to the phosphorus, which helps with blooms and root development. And the third number refers to the potassium, or the K, which helps plants fight disease and helps keep them healthy. So I, this fertilizer, I think, is a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Nice and balanced. The last step here in my old soil refresh is to water it and mix it in. So I'm going to grab my hose link retractable hose, hit it with some water. I want the soil nice and moist because I'm going to be replanting here in a couple of days. And then we're going to mix all those good nutrients down into the old soil, refreshing it, making it nice and healthy soil again, ready for growing more vegetables. If your soil is really dry, this might be a little bit of a process to mix it in. Hit it with water, so all the water is absorbed in the soil, ready for the roots to take up the water and the nutrients. One thing that's great about this little shorty raised bed is that it's a Smart Pot, so the Smart Pot's fabric is aerated, so the water drains through, so the plants don't get waterlogged, and they don't get root bound in these containers, which is super nice. And you can grab little shorty over at CaliKimGardenHome.com for 15% off with the code CALIKIM15, and that sale goes to October 24th. It applies to all my seed collections, CALIKIM Smart Pots, Little Shorty, and signed copies of my book. It's like I've got some roots in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. A lot of people have also been asking, what do I do with the old roots and containers? And since I'm gonna be planting in here again, probably some larger plants like broccoli, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these old plants. And here's a perfect example of what smart pots do. The roots don't get root bound, but because of the aerated fabric, they form a nice fibrous root mass. Look at these roots, still look really good. And with these fibrous root mass, root mass, the plant can still take up nutrients and water, and you can grow larger plants in a smaller space. We've got our drip irrigation back in place here. This container is refreshed and ready to plant again. So comment below if you enjoy this no hassle soil refresh mix. I wanna know if you're gonna do it in your garden and head over to calicumgardenhome.com, 15% off all my seed collections, Calicum Smart Pots and signed copies of my garden books with the code calicum15 till October 24th. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.